Hello everyone, welcome to Coder and Boots. So in this video, we are going to discuss about a short topic, how to save a Docker image as a file and how to load a Docker image uh, from a file, okay? So this is a very useful step. So especially when you're working in offline environments, offline environments means environment where you don't have internet access. So I have been working uh, in this kind of environments for several years. So uh, basically like, I mean, I, I have to work on environment where there is no internet connectivity, no connectivity to remote repositories. So uh, what I have to do is I have to prepare all my files, all my dependencies, everything, application dependencies, everything uh, in an offline mechanism. Okay, so that uh, without referenced, uh, referencing uh, anything to the internet, I can handle everything locally. Okay, so that's why like I mean, uh, in those kind of scenarios, this kind of Docker image uh, saving as a file will help you because uh, you will have to uh, ship the uh, application uh, images as files, okay, and load it to the local registry over there and then do the deployment, okay. <clears throat> So the commands that we have to, uh, that, that helps us to do is uh, docker save and docker load. So using docker save, we can save an image uh, to a file. Uh, it's a tar file, okay, it's a compressed file. And then you can transfer the image, the file to like, I mean, wherever you want. So uh, maybe through FTP or through uh, some file sharing mechanism, we can transfer the image to the target uh, environment. Then from there, we'll have to load it to the docker. Uh, registry right so first we'll load it to the uh, uh, i mean a docker server over there then we can push it to the registry uh, where uh, which is available in that same network so let's get into the practical so this is a sh uh, very quick topic so in this directory okay let me see so in this place i have a docker file okay say so very simple docker file which creates a docker image of an nginx uh, basically uh, it's the base image is nginx it is copying some html content to the nginx okay so a simple website we can say so what we'll do is we'll create let's quickly create uh, so let's see what are the images which is present in this machine docker images there is nothing empty okay nothing is there now let's quickly build this docker build hyphen t okay so coder website colon v1 okay so coder website colon v1 v1 is the tag coder website is the image name okay so and then docker file is available locally right dot so this will do the build activity so this activity will be performed in a machine where we have internet or repository access we will build it we'll create a file out of it then we'll transfer it to the machine where we don't have internet access that's the idea okay so it's getting built because it is pulling all the dependent uh, images from the remote repository that's why it is taking time we can see like i have the progress over here so yeah it's almost done done okay now let's see a uh, check docker images you can see in the local docker uh, an image got created coder website tag v1 right image id is this one now what we'll do is let's save this image docker save hyphen o okay coder website v1 okay and this is the uh, hyphen o this is where i mean the file gets saved the local file name it's a tar file right tar dot gz okay and the image name is coder website colon v1 right so the command is docker save to this particular file locally and from this particular image this will do the save locally it will take some time so depending upon the size of the image it takes time so mine is like somewhere around 188 mb it's a small image but sometimes the image might be large so in that case it will take more time so now so let's check the local directory you can see the image code saved locally right now what we'll do is we need to load it right we need to load it and see whether it is getting loaded or not so before that what i'll do is i'll remove okay rm i okay colon v1 i am removing the 
image okay now docker images if you see there is no image over here so it's all gone now what we what i lose i'll try to load this docker load hyphen i then this file okay let's see what happens now you see loaded image so internally it knows what's the image name what's the tag okay loaded the image coder website v1 right now docker images see the image got loaded now if you want to push it to a registry you can do docker push using that you can push it to the local registry okay so this is a simple but very powerful uh, capability in docker so this will help you to transfer import export docker images across machines or across across environments i hope this example is clear and useful so if you have any questions feedbacks or comments uh, comment below this video i'll definitely respond back thank you thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to this channel also for more interesting videos like this okay thank you